So I'm going to show you how to make a clay whistle. What you're going to need is a um, small chunk of clay and then an even smaller chunk of clay, um, which is going to be for our mouthpiece. And then I've got some slip, which is um, half clay, half water. I have some popsicle sticks, and then I also have my bucket of uh, clay tools as well that I may need to use. So what you're going to do to start off um, making your clay whistle is I'm actually going to take this clay and divide it into two roughly even pieces. And then I'm going to roll each piece into a ball. And you might find you need to get rid of some of the clay if you've got a little too much. That's okay if you need to. So as I'm rolling this out, I really want to smooth out my clay. And because I'm using fresh clay straight from a new bag, I didn't need to wedge this at all. Um, but if you have clay that has been um, used and needs to be um, wedged, then you're just going to take it on the surface of the table and just sort of knead it into the table to make sure it has even consistency. Okay. So, and then after you do that, go ahead and just roll it into a ball, okay? And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making two equal size pinch pots for our whistle. Okay, so now I've got um, both ready to go. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to start by holding the ball in your left hand, take your thumb, and you're going to push open or push into the clay a little bit to create an opening okay so kind of like this and then what you're going to do is hold it in your left hand and I'm going to spin it around with my left hand and I'm going to be pinching with my right hand and what I'm doing is I'm pushing the clay down and out at the same time because I want my walls and the bottom of my pinch pot to be equal widths. Otherwise, um, too much clay can bulk up and it can crack or damage your whistle. So I'm going to keep on doing that. And then once once it's pretty even, consistent all the way around, um, kind of use your pinky to measure. Okay, You don't want it any wider than the width of your pinky. So mine looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and set that one aside. And then I'm going to repeat that same process with my second pinch pot here okay and again I'm pressing out and down and I'm spinning the pinch pot as I go around so I can get nice even consistency okay and just make sure both of them are roughly the same size and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to join them together okay so first I need to score the surface of the clay so you can use really any clay tool to do this and you're just going to rough up the surface of the clay and then this is going to help it stick together. Okay, so I'm going around roughing up the surface of the clay. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing on this one, roughing up the surface of the clay here. And then I'm going to be joining these two pieces together. Okay. So then I'm going to take a little bit of slip and then I'm just going to put it around the edge here, repeat the same on this side, and then you're going to push the two pieces together. Okay, and this is where you can use a popsicle stick, and all you need to do is take the popsicle stick and smooth the two pieces together. And this is going to become like the hollow area where our whistle, um, where it makes the noise from. Okay. So, and you might have little extra bits of clay. You can just kind of push that off to the side. You don't really need that. Or you can sometimes, I'll take it and just throw it into the slip bucket. Either way works. And you'll be able to refine your shape later and smooth it out even more. Or you can turn your whistle into something. Um, I've had students in the past create pencils or birds or um, dinosaurs or anything you can come up with. Um, you can turn your whistle into something. 
Okay, so now I've got this part of my whistle completed. Again, I can go back in later and smooth it out, but for now it's pretty good. So I'm gonna set that aside for a second and I'm gonna take my other small bit of clay and this is going to become my mouthpiece. So what you're gonna kinda do is flatten it out a little bit and you can set it along the side of the table. Okay, and just make sure it's nice and smooth on both sides. And once it looks good, you can um, use a felting knife and you can just trim it off so you've got, it's a nice, even mouthpiece. And you can just put that extra clay aside and use it for something else. Okay. So you can kind of see what that looks like now. I'm going to just take a little slip on my fingers and just kind of smooth out the mouthpiece. And once it's good, you can um, take it and just set it aside. What we want to do is we want to wait for these two pieces to pe become leather hard. So I'm going to let these sit out for a minute and then I'll come back and show you how to put them together and make a sound out of your whistle.